As he said, my name is Sarah Todd, and I'd like to give everybody Whoa. my fancy pants title before we start. I am the Democratic Party of Georgia's Vice Chair for Congressional District Chairs and County Committees. And what that means is I have a very big title for a very big job. I oversee all the 159 county committees for the state. We are not quite there yet, but we are a lot closer than we were a couple of years ago. So the DPG is working pretty hard on all fronts. Quick look at what we're up to. Right now, we are actively recruiting viable candidates who will stand fast for our ideals. In this overwhelming GOP onslaught, all the stuff that they're throwing at us, we have to stand up for who we are. We have to represent everybody. So we're working really hard right now to find those candidates who are going to do that job. And also, before we begin, I want to tell you that I'm not one of our party's great speakers. As a matter of fact, this was the first time that I've ever been pinned down to have to speak to a dinner. So.
JFK, RFK, MLK. But we kept moving forward and we took their best ideas and created LBJ's great society. But we worked towards civil and voting rights for all. We're not quite there yet, but it's still something to work for. In the 1970s, Georgia Democrats had to send one of our own to Washington, D.C. to restore America's faith in its government. In President Carter's time, we again led the way in creating the Departments of Education and Energy and creating a lasting peace in the Middle East. And when you think about it, education and energy, those are still two of the biggest issues that we face today. As I said, education is the great equalizer. It levels the playing field for everyone. And energy, if we don't gain our independence from the Middle East, there will never be peace there. So those are things that still, to this day, resonate with us. On the 1980s, <laughs> the only good thing to come from that decade is it's music. <laughs> but don't worry, we got room back in the 90s, doing what we do best, cleaning up the record deficits and high unemployment, that typically always comes with a two-term Republican president. <clears throat> Innovation led the way at that time, and our economy boomed under President Clinton. But with the selection of 2000, America started down a dark path that was filled with hyper-partisanship that's led by a very reckless, well, I guess a better term, a feckless Republican Party. Fast forward eight years later, and Democrats again gave the country and, frankly, the whole world hope. A thoughtful, intelligent leader set about doing that thankless task of pulling America back from the brink of ruin, from the Great Recession, and restoring our image on the global scene. Again, that two-term Republican president. They get us every time. So we spent a century leading the way, and these accomplishments are truly something to behold. And I'm proud to be a part of a party that has done these great things. But, you know, that was then. This is now. Where do we stand? What about now? I'm not going to you. I, along with countless others, questioned my loyalty to our party last year. Out of our time limit, our party that let backroom deals skewed playing field from one candidate over another. We've become exactly the sort of thing that I had always despised the other guys for. And I've had to think really long and really hard about what makes me a Democrat, a proud Democrat. But when you think about it, the answer is surprisingly simple. It's right here in this room. The thing that makes me proud to be a member of this party is its people, all of you. The rank and file, the base. You are what makes my responsibility to the Democratic Party of Georgia worth it. I travel around the state constantly. I meet with some of our most established county committees. You know, I led them. I just sat down after 10 years as the chair of the Newton County Democratic Party. So I know what struggles you all face on a day-to-day basis. But then on the other end of the spectrum, I've met with groups of four or five people who want to know how to get something going and where they live because they're sick and tired of being scared that they're the only ones there. And I've also met people who are scared to put a bumper sticker on their car for fear of retribution. But they all still claim allegiance to our party that has historically always put people above all else. So I put my misgivings behind me and I did what we all had to do. But focus on resisting those who want to destroy our hard won legacy. And make no mistake about it, we have a responsibility as Americans to resist this nonsense that is playing out in front of us on a day-to-day -day basis. We must resist. But we do that by doing what I'm committed to doing here in Georgia. We create a strong, solid foundation to build our future on. We go in and we create county committees, like the ones here in Lowndes County, where there are none. We strengthen those we do have. We teach each other our best policies of what works. And we provide each other with the support that it takes to get through these troubling times together. My passion for our party lies in those who make up our individual county committees because we're the first line of defense. We're the people come to find 
when they feel troubled, when they say, I can't deal with this anymore. I've got to do something. So on this hot July night, when our elected president, him, is in Europe, feeding America's responsibility as the leader of the free world to our European allies, I want you to know that there is no place I'd rather be fighting that good fight than here with my Democratic family. You are what makes me proud to be a Democrat. So, thank you for having me. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, we have a party here. We, we, we have a 50-50, and we had um, $84, so there's $42 in my hand for the number that Sarah will pick out. I'll give you your blue tickets up. That's right. One, one person is going to win something here, and it's in my hand. $42. Thank you. 